Let's learn how to generate email notification using SNS and store data in DynamoDB database of Amazon AWS Cloud. This video is a part 2 and follow up video lesson. As in the first part, we learn how to send a data from Raspberry Pi to AWS IoT Core. The link of a first video is given in a video description. Now let's get started. So on our top left corner, as you can see, if I search SNS, so I would be presented with simple notification service. So if I right click, I would click on open link in new tab and this would open this in a new tab. So you would see the SNS tab will open up and here we have to create a topic. So I would give it a name to the topic, let's say notification and I will click on next step and then the standard notification is fine. Give it a name notification or then the display name will be basically a subject for our email notification so maybe i would rather just say alert okay whatever you can keep it alert or you can keep it notification it's just fine whatever you want to give it so just scroll down in lower right corner there's a create topic button so click on create topic and then on this topic you can see there's this button which says create subscription so you can click this white button create subscription or you can create this yellow button create subscription anything works fine so click on create subscription and here on the product call drop down menu you have to select emails because we have to generate an email and i would like to put my email address so I would like to put my email so this will be an email on which I want to generate a notification to we have to insert our email address and then click on create subscription and then it asks us to confirm uh, this email right so I would just go to my email account from AWS hopefully so here is an AWS email it says confirm subscription I will click on it and this will confirm that this email address belongs to my account so I have since I click on confirm subscription and now I go back to my AWS account SNS and uh, if I just uh, reload this page on a browser you can see the status shows as confirmed earlier it was pending but since I confirm my email it says confirmed now I go back to my AWS account and now I have to integrate this SNS um, topic that I have created to my IoT core AWS IoT core so I'm going to click on left pan we have this rules under the message routing so click on rules and here we have to create a rule which let us connect SNS with IoT core so click on create rule and then you have to give some rule to this and I would uh, rather say my rule whatever and the uh, message from raspberry pi iot device whatever this is just an optional thing and then click on next and then it says uh we have to edit this sql query statement so select star from see all these things we don't need actually right so here we have to put in a single code we have to say device slash data because this is a topic on which the message is coming from our raspberry pi to our aws iot core so we have to put this and then click on next and then it says select the action in a drop down uh, we have to select sns and once we select sns then sns topic in a drop down we get this sns topic this is what we created in this uh, simple notification service tab so in the drop down we select the service and the message format will be raw and there is something called i am role and you can click on create new role and you will give it some name i give it my own name umesh and then just say create and the role will create it and it will be applied here umesh look at this and then in a lower right corner there will be a next button so click on next and this rule will be created and uh, then if you scroll down then in a lower right corner you can see there's a create button so when you click on create button then the rule will be created and now this rule is created and uh, if you want to see it let me just make my email to be small 
I can just remove this nonsense ads and here is my uh, code if I run python py python dot py then every fifth second there will be uh, a message to be sent to AWS IoT core and I would receive a notification alerts and look at this I receive new message alert right so if I click on it you can see the AWS messages starts coming okay look at this alert messages if I click on this it will say the message hello from binary updates so now what basically going on here is whenever the device generates a data then it throw the notification it generates an alert notification it sends to my mailbox right so now I can stop the script running and then I can just take you back to my AWS account so this is how we can use a rule engines means we can create a rule so that we can connect AWS IoT core with other services like simple notification service now what if somebody wants to store the data in the database so if you search on a top left corner in your AWS dashboard there will be something called a database and uh, if you search DynamoDB you can get this DynamoDB so I would right click and open in new tab so basically what I'm trying to show you right now is how you can configure the database okay so we have to create a database onto DynamoDB so let's go to DynamoDB tab that's what we opened up and let's click on create table give it a name to the table I would rather give it a name my table and then the partition key uh, and there is a sort key so partition key will be let's say message because we are sending a message from our raspberry pi and the sort key will be let's say time because we want to filter messages based on time and then scroll down and click on create table so the table will get created now look at this the table is now in the process to create so it is provisioning something something and it says creating right so the table is still creating in the background in the AWS account into the AWS server so it takes some time before this table is ready to use in our project so now you can see the status is active right now for this table DynamoDB now we go to our AWS dashboard again IoT core and then we can click on this my rule because we want to integrate this DynamoDB database table with our AWS IoT core so that we can record the data coming from our device which is our Raspberry Pi so we can scroll down here and uh, you can see here is an action which is already added and we have to add one more action so once we click on my rule then on a top right corner there is this edit button so click on edit and uh, we can scroll down and you can see here is the action one this action one is for SNS to generate the notification now I would click on uh, add rule action button here right add rule action button here and you can see now it says action 2 so the second action is to push the data into the DynamoDB database table on AWS so in the drop down I would select a DynamoDB table and here is a table name so in a drop down I select the table that I created on AWS DynamoDB that's my table and then I can scroll down and you can see partition key and uh, there are a lot more things right so the partition key then partition key value then there's a sort key and sort key value right so the partition key if you remember it was a message and the partition key value uh, partition key value will be a dollar sign in curly bracket topic because the data is coming onto the MQTT topic that we want to push into the DynamoDB database table and sort key is time and then sort key value again is a dollar sign in the curly bracket um, we have to give it a time stamp which is a system time and open and curly braces so this is the information that we have to put in and then scroll down and uh, there is something that I am role that what we created earlier 
my own name Umesh so I would click on Umesh and then I would just click on update so so the rule is added now so I go to my DynamoDB table so this is my table so click on my table and then here somewhere explore table item and you can see this table is empty there is no entry so far so I go to my Raspberry Pi here in the console and I run my code python by python.py so that our Raspberry Pi will start sending messages back again hello from binary updates and now I go to my AWS account and now when I reload this uh, table okay just reload this page okay and now you see the messages starts coming device slash data so this is a time and this is a message is coming from the device into the dynamo db table now you might wonder what is this value you cannot able to read this right so i would show you how to decode this messages but before that i have to stop otherwise there will be a lot of lot of nonsense data just look at this you have a time and you have the message you cannot read this because this is a system time this is a time in epoch format so i would just copy this number for you to see what this time means and i will go and search epoch timestamp converter and there is this url epoch converter and here's the number i would remove the number i will paste the number from my dynamo db table and if i click this button timestamp to human date converter you can able to see it's 8th of the july 2022 so this is how you know you, you don't need to read the data in a database basically this can be easily converted into human readable format using javascript and other uh, you know front-end programming languages client-side programming languages i just wanted to show you now what about this data this data you cannot able to read it so you can just copy this piece of data okay and then i would search online base 64 decode and uh, maybe this is the site and i could put this number here that way uh, that i copy from my dynamo db and i could just click on decode and you can see in the utf8 now the decoded value is hello from binary updates right so this is the value that we recorded in our dynamo db database and if we convert this into um, you know the utf8 format then we could easily be able to decode this message basically this is a utf8 decoder right so that happens i didn't have the time basically but you, you know how to get these things right this is how we can able to configure a raspberry pi uh, to our AWS IoT core and we can successfully send and receive messages and also integrate the SNS a simple notification service and DynamoDB which is a database table onto AWS. I hope you have found this video educational and entertaining. We'll see us into the next video. Bye bye for now.